Everything that you do in life is dependent on how you see yourself. Hello, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Lior Alexandra. Welcome to the B community. On this channel, we talk about the law of attraction, self-development, spirituality, and so much more. And today I want to talk to you about the importance of having a good self-image and how to cultivate your self-image to help you out in life, how to change the way that you view yourself and see yourself. And I also want to offer you some journaling prompts at the end that will help you raise your self-esteem and your self-image. Jupiter has woken up from his nap, of course, at the very moment that I sat down to record. So let's see how long I can record for. <laughs> but first, a word from our sponsor so that Jupiter can get even more tasty treats. Today's sponsor is NordVPN, the fastest VPN service out there. If you don't know what VPN is, it's a virtual private network. And I have tried many over the years so that I could feel safe while I'm browsing the internet. And while I work outside of the home, I like to work outside in a coffee shop, sometimes at the library, sometimes at a restaurant and while I'm traveling. And I want to make sure that I've protected myself. What you want in a VPN is you want it to be easy to connect to. You want it to be super fast and you want it to be super safe and I get all of these three things with NordVPN. If you are using public networks on your phone, on your iPad, on your desktop, on whatever it is, your laptop, without security, you're putting yourself at risk for cyber attacks. You can use NordVPN on six devices. I use it on my phone, I use it on my laptop, my iPad, and my desktop. So I can do it two more uh, devices if I wanna get crazy. So if you don't want your browsing activity tracked and watched, then you need to up your privacy game with NordVPN, which also, by the way, lets you access movies and shows from other countries that may not be available in your own. Also, NordVPN recently got a major upgrade with threat protection. So threat protection blocks intrusive ads and web trackers. When you download a file from the internet, Threat protection is going to inspect it for malware automatically. So you get a powerful cybersecurity tool that helps you to avoid online spies and stalkers. Because they are sponsoring today's video, if you go to nordvpn.com slash Lior, you can get a huge discount on their two year plan plus one whole month free. So you can protect all your devices and protect your family too. It's risk free and you get a 30 day money back guaranteed. So win-win. Thank you NordVPN for sponsoring this video and thank you to all of you who download using the link below. It really helps the channel. Now back to our video. Our self-image is what is going to open or close doors for us. It's what determines how others will treat us and how we see life and how we react to life. How we see ourselves in our mind is based on information that we've gathered about ourselves throughout our lives. A lot of that information, which might surprise you, was gathered from the ages of one through seven. Up until the age of seven, we're like sponges. We take in anything that is said to us and about us that we hear, and we might even hear it on a supraceptual level, not consciously remembering it. If we were lucky enough to have heard that we are beautiful and talented and smart and capable, that is going to stay with us and that's going to do a lot for our self image and it's going to allow us to show up in the world in a very positive and powerful way. I remember vividly when I was growing up, I lived in Israel and um, my parents were called into my school and my teacher wanted to tell them that I'm such a talented artist and that they should keep an eye on it and nurture that. And that gave me so much confidence that I still remember it over 20 years later. I also remember, however, that when I was a bit older, maybe around nine or 10, I was singing and just so joyfully and my mom cracked a joke because she does have this sarcastic, dry sense of humor. And she told me to keep my day job. I've shared that with you guys before. She was totally kidding and she loves me so much and supports me in every way. She got me singing lessons when I asked for them, even thinking that I wasn't the greatest singer, right? But that too stayed with me so deeply to the point where I never sang again in public for many, many years. Of course, that's not her fault and people don't wish us bad. There are people with negative intentions. There are agendas out there, but the people who love us don't wish us bad and still they could be reprogramming us and um, affecting our self-image by implanting these belief systems within us. These are only the things that I'm consciously aware of, right? There are thousands of programs in our subconscious mind that we've stored about ourselves that make up how we see ourselves, the image, the visual, the, the 
full um, painting of who we are as a person. And it's good information and bad information. And it's very hard to see what's in there unless we're intentional about it with awareness. We can improve our self-image by letting go of negative and false information and finding positive information to replace it with instead in order to rebuild our self-image the way that we want it to be. What's so sad to me is I've seen this in myself and in people I work with and my loved ones and you know a lot of you that it's just so much easier to believe negative things about ourselves than positive things and it does take an intentional desire to be like, I'm going to believe good things about myself because it is crucial that we start to see these beliefs as what they are. They're thoughts, just thoughts. Nothing is objectively true. There are thoughts that we feed with our faith, with our belief and with our emotions. Whatever we feed enough of will become our reality. So if you've taken, if you've believed your entire life that God forbid that you believe that you're stupid because maybe a, a classmate made fun of you when you're younger, then you might have manifested to you many situations that prove that even though it's not true. If you believe you're really smart, you do the same thing, right? You manifest these really beautiful and empowering situations that prove that you're intelligent. Whatever it is that we believe about ourselves is reinforced and becomes our self image. And so we can begin to remake our self image with a little bit of intention, desire, consciousness, and awareness. And yes, this is going to take time because consider how long it took for you to create the self image that you have now. It was a lifetime, right? And the thing is that you did that unconsciously. So it took longer than this will take. This will take less time because you're doing it consciously now, right? So starting today, you begin to create it consciously and each day you're going to see improvement in one month you could be completely unrecognizable in the best way possible. A person who loves themselves, who sees themselves, who builds themselves and their lives intentionally. So I have about eight pieces of advice that are going to help you to reimagine your self image. Just doing one of these is going to bring the power back into your hands, the creative ability back into your hands. But if you do all of them, like I said, potentially unrecognizable in a week, a month, so the first thing that we can do is we can take inventory of our limiting thoughts and beliefs about ourselves. So this requires us to be more aware of the thoughts that we have every day, right? What are we thinking about all day long that's creating our reality? Give your thoughts more attention. Keep a journal to write down whatever you become aware of. Keep a journal to write down whatever negative thoughts you become aware of, whether it be about yourself, others, or the world. These are the limiting beliefs that can open the door for greater self-knowing and insights. Once you have these limiting beliefs, you want to empty them by writing them down, by really analyzing them. When was the first time I felt like this? Where does this come from? Maybe it's something inherited from your parent. Maybe you can remember the first time somebody said it to you. Consider when you first felt this way. And then what we want to do is to make sure that we fill the empty space. Once we let them go, once we work through them, we want to fill the empty space with new empowering thoughts. Because if we don't change the thought patterns, what we're going to do is go back to our habits and fill our mind once again with those negative thoughts that feel familiar to us, right? So we want to rewrite our story. One story that I have told all the way up to just a couple of months ago is that I'm weird right? I'm weird in a negative connotation. I said that to excuse my thoughts, my ideas, my words, my actions more times than I care to even think about. It was only this year that I noticed that I've been so mean to myself in order for others to feel more comfortable with how I am. It's not that I'm weird. I'm unique. I'm different. I'm one of a kind. And I had to realize that I was seeing one of my greatest strengths as a weakness, as something negative about myself. And so it in, in some ways was manifesting that way in my life in different areas. I had to shift that into just immediately in my mind, I realized that there was a moment where I was like, oh, I've been calling myself weird for so long. I've been excusing myself. Like I would say to my friends, you know, I'm weird. Like, well, yeah, I did that, but you know how I am. That's, it's not a bad thing to be the way that I am. I'm different, I'm unique, I'm special. And that's a good thing. Uh, so I, I just reframed it in my mind immediately. I was like, you know, a lot of people want to be different and they try and work so hard at being different. Maybe it's time I just accept how different I am, right? 
And when I shifted that into, wow, perhaps if I wasn't this unique, maybe I wouldn't be where I am right now, or maybe I wouldn't have come up with the things I've come up with. I was able to integrate a huge aspect of my personality that I had sent off as an outcast to my shadow realm, my subconscious mind for a long time. This reframe was honestly revolutionary to me. It made me see myself differently and I have more confidence in my life and my decisions. I saw that I was suddenly more sure of myself and more sure of my beliefs and, and the way that I live my life and the things that I want and the things that I create. It was really empowering to just have that shift of perspective. I'm curious, what kind of story have you been telling about yourself in a negative way when it's actually your superpower? Let me know in the comments, please, I wanna know. Another way to build up your self image is to get to know yourself more, get to know your personality. I really recommend answering journaling prompts often because they bring your attention to blind spots. They make you think in a way that you normally don't think, right? So look them up online, use ones for my videos. I offer, I offer them very often, um, buy a self discovery journal prompt book and just explore what's in your mind, explore your personality. Take yourself on dates, try new things, new foods, new experiences, just do different things. Explore what you like and what you don't. Figure yourself out. Getting to know yourself will help you build a better self image. You'll be able to see yourself more clearly and you'll be able to navigate life as this evolved version of yourself. My next tip is to practice affirmations in the morning and the night. One thing you might really enjoy are my self-esteem and worthiness affirmations, which I will link below. You want to hear these right as you wake up in the morning so that they reprogram your subconscious mind and as you're falling asleep at night. This is when we're mo most susceptible to affirmations to suggestions. We're most suggestible at this time. Also, if you're meditating, you can throw them on right after you're in a trance state. They'll sink in super deeply. And on the line of affirmations, I want you to come up with a mantra that you can repeat to yourself daily. This is like a safety blanket, something that we can cling onto all day long. When we're maybe thinking negative thoughts and we see that, or maybe um, when we're feeling anxious and we're feeling unsure of ourselves and not confident, choose a mantra that really resonates with you that you can play again and again over in your mind like a safety blanket or like a like a mala that you play with when you're nervous so a mantra can be something like i'm doing great i'm doing great i'm doing great just repeating that all day long everything is going well everything is happening for me the universe is conspiring on my behalf god is with me i am divinely guided there's a hebrew saying i think it goes a koletova, something like that, something similar to that. And it means everything for the good. And it's true. I like to, I like to repeat that mantra all day long, everything for the good, everything for good. The next piece of advice I'd like to offer is um, to visualize. If you can visualize something in your mind, then you can have that thing in your physical reality. Anything that we can imagine, we can live in our physical world. So visualize yourself the way that you want to see yourself, confident, happy, secure, healthy, prosperous, and imagine your life and how you live your life. Spend some time every morning doing this. If you have just a few minutes in the morning, if you have 30 minutes in the morning, whatever amount of time that you have, spend some time uh, visualizing things the way that you want them to be and knowing that this is what you're calling into your reality and that you are such a powerful creator and you can have this. And the last thing I added last minute today when I was on my walk and I was thinking about how people with high self-image have high self-esteem and self-confidence and those people are usually very relaxed. So it doesn't mean that they're calm or they're subdued in their personality. They can be super uh, um, high energy and outgoing and um, hyper even, but they're calm and they're relaxed in their knowing and in their faith. They're relaxed. They spend their time, even when they're super hyper, or even when they're lifting weights or running, they're still relaxed because these are people who know who they are. So a, rela a, a confident person is going to be a relaxed person. A person with a high and a powerful self image is going to be relaxed. So let's bring in the relaxation now as we're working on our self image. So relaxation techniques are meditating. It's just sitting in a chair, covering yourself up with a blanket, closing your eyes, focusing on your breath. It's breathing exercises. It's hypnotherapy, guided meditation. It's yoga. It's getting a massage. 
do things to actively relax. And I know actively relaxing sounds funny, but we don't take enough time to intentionally relax in this day and age. So actively relax. So those are my tips. And now I want to offer you some journaling prompts that I want you to sit down with them and really kind of explore your self image through this. Number one, what are my values? What is important to me? So for example, to me, uh, personal development and growth is very valuable. This is something I hold in high regard. Whereas my ex did not see personal development as high on his list of values. What are your values? What do you value in life and in personality and in a lifestyle, right? Number two, what are some of my strengths? Number three, what am I excited to improve about myself? So for example, I'm excited to continuously improve my routine. I like to have a really good and strong morning routine and I'm excited to get up and meditate more consistently and do my affirmations and my prayers and all my little rituals more consistently. I'm I'm excited about that. I'm excited about my health and my physical health consistently getting better. I'm excited to find out more about my um, moon time and how to work mo- work it more advantageously ad- advantageously english again it's been a while since i had an english moment number four what are some positive personality traits i have write those down keep that somewhere handy so that you can refer to it whenever you're feeling down about yourself and number five what is a moment i am really proud of doesn't matter if it's big small whatever it is something that brought you personal joy Maybe you volunteered somewhere and helped somebody. Jupiter is up. He wants everybody to know. Perhaps it's um, you put something together, maybe a fundraiser. Maybe you launched a business. Maybe it's your beautiful relationship. Maybe you adopted a dog. Maybe you're proud of how you show up in the world, how kind you are. Whatever it is, what are you proud of? If you want to let the world know, you can do that in the comments below too. I hope you enjoyed those journaling prompts, my love. I'm going to go play with my puppy before he eats my entire house. I love you. Make sure to check out NordVPN and the self-esteem and worthiness affirmations down below. Until my next video, as always, keep your vibrations way, way, way up. Bye.